And we will now have the clerk read the proclamation. Thank you. Sorry. Council City of New York Proclamation. The Council of the City of New York is proud to honor science writer, editor, teacher, and ethicist Harriet A. Washington for her outstanding activism that has raised public awareness and advanced public discourse in New York and across the nation. And whereas Ms. Washington has been a research fellow in medical ethics at Harvard Medical School, visiting fellow at Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, a visiting scholar at DePaul University College of Law, and a senior research scholar at the National Center for Bioethics at Tuskegee University. Today, she teaches a bioethics course at Columbia University. And whereas Ms. Washington has wa written widely for popular and science publications and also authored the award-winning book, Medical Apartheid, The Dark History of Experimentation from Colonial Times to the Present. The research and background outlined in this book prepared the groundwork for activism by community members, residents, and elected officials to reassess the prominent statue of Dr. J. Marion Sims. And whereas, in addition to being the founder of the New York Women's Hospital, Dr. J. Marion Sims was hailed as the, quote, father of American gynecology and a medical hero. Although he died in 1883, Sims has been immortalized for decades in medical textbooks and in his towering bronze likeness at the corner of 103rd Street and 5th Avenue, just across the street from the New York Academy of Medicine. And whereas Ms. Washington has spent many months at the New York Academy of Medicine researching her book, perusing antebellum medical journals and physician memoirs that documented the enslavement and medical torture of African Americans and the racial calumny that scientists of the era used to justify it. She also learned of other statues of Sims and committed to digging for a deeper truth and raised public consciousness about his work. And whereas, despite Sims's contributions to the medical profession in both surgery and gynecology, much of his work was made at the expense of a powerless population. He frequently used enslaved black women. And while anesthesia had recently become available, Sims did not use it with his, his experimental subjects. And whereas, in the words of Ms. Washington, quote, Confederate generals or physicians whose success was based on the savage abuse of African Americans, we in the United States have chosen to honor the perpetrators. Moreover, the erection of many such statues correlates with terror campaigns against African Americans. They are symbols of racial power. Statues are raised to those people a culture wants to honor and plaques installed to commemorate victims have sometimes been placed in less than conspicuous positions, downplaying past wrongs. This is why the Sims statue must go. Quote, as the statues and portraits of Sims make clear, art can create beautiful lies. To find the truth, we must dig deeper and be willing to confront ugly facts. No scientist, no thinking individual should be content to accept pretty propaganda. And whereas on April 17, 2018, by the order of Mayor Bill de Blasio, the New York City Parks Department relocated the statue to Greenwood Cemetery in Brooklyn where Sims is buried. Now therefore be it known <laughs> that the Council of the City of New York gratefully honors Harriet A. Washington for her outstanding service which continues to strengthen our city and the nation. Corey Johnson, speaker for the entire council, Lori A. Cumbo, Majority Leader, New York City Council, Inez D. Barron, Council Member, 42nd District, Brooklyn, Helen Rosenthal, Council Member, 6th District, Manhattan. Woo! And we just want to thank you because black women, past, present, and future, are better because of you. And we want to thank you for your tireless effort because often our tragedies, our attacks, our brutalization often do not go recognized. And so we thank you for your tireless effort combined with our fearless leader, Council Member Barron, who continued to bring this effort forward through the Women's Caucus. And we thank you for your leadership. And because of these dynamic women, this is what women's leadership looks like. We create real change in the city of New York. And we hope to see more statues topple down as we continue to fight for equity all throughout the city of New York. And women erected. And we want to see a woman's statue um, in Central Park to make sure that the women's lives 
who were so brutally attacked and taken have an opportunity to have their true story told and to understand the brutalization that they faced. At this time, before I bring it to you, I want to bring it to our speaker, Corey Johnson, um, who has been instrumental in making today happen and recognizing the powerful and important work that you have brought to American history. Thank you so much. I just want to say congratulations. Yeah, and we're so lucky to have you. I'm sorry I'm delayed, but you're in good hands with our majority leader and the amazing Inez Barron, and we want to give you the opportunity to speak as well. Thank you so much. Congratulations. <laughs> Anything I could say now Anything. seems Anything. like Dana a while, but I just want to say that I am happy and proud that I made people aware mm -hmm. of these horrible abuses. Mm -hmm. But what's really important is that a huge community in New York came together to make sure that the symbol of these abuses was toppled. The women who lived in the community there, also some men, also medical students, it shows, it's a really good example how rather than only race, the belief in what's good and moral can unite people and they get things done. So thank you so much for this honor. Thank you. Yes! Congratulations. Thank you very much. Let's thank get a photo. Let's get a There will be a brief reception downstairs in the mid basement, so please stop by and have an opportunity to shake Harriet Washington's hand. Thank you. Well, it's scheduled for two, but we'll see. But it's there. It's there. It's ready. Thank you. Speak during general orders or discussion. Okay. Did we? No, the next one. All right, we are getting ready for the We are getting ready for the Cardoza High School volleyball team. Can we have the Cardoza High School volleyball team with council member Garad Grenchek? I still love you. Say it louder. Grodenchik. G R. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm giving back the mic to uh, our speaker, Corey Johnson. Uh, all of a sudden, they're shy. <laughs> so if the, if, if, the, if the lady judges can please come up. Hey, girls, spike. From the Benjamin and Cardozo High School girls varsity volleyball team. Who is the next Misty May? <laughs> <laughs>